Hi there, this is Marcia Lissimo and I'm the owner of Mixed Essentials in the UK. I make organic cosmetics and household products. Hi Freddie Jones, thank you for joining. I'm having issues with Periscope today. Hi. Hi, thank you for joining. Hi Internet Police. Let's take this off. Thank you for coming in. Hi, I'm making um, soap. Cold process soap. Making it from scratch. Thanks for coming in, guys. Hi, welcome back, Letitia. That's no problem. <laughs> I'm having problems with the uh, Periscope today. Hi, Marco. Thank you for coming in, guys. Please share with your friends and followers. You can also share on Twitter and Facebook. Hi, thank you for coming in. Yeah, it's uh, it's wearing me down at the minute. <laughs> I'm in the process. Well, third third attempt now to get this going. So so far, I have weighed out the um, ingredients I've weighed the lye solution and made made that and I've also done what else have I done now all I've done now is need to get back to where I was thanks for the hearts guys because I was about to put in the essential oils I need to get the camera back to where it was I'm sorry guys let me just try and get this back Let me see if I can just sort this out. It's not in a great angle, it was a better angle before. There we go. So this is cold process soap. I'm making organic soap. Let's just switch that off. Because that bit's all done. And I think it's traced enough now. Yeah, thank you. I was like, <laughs> dealing with those trolls just now really distracted me again. I forget that at this stage the um the light solution can still cause damage. Thank you for coming in. Right, so at this stage the saponification is going through because the the liquid is sticking to the utensil. So it's also called salt at this stage which is more commonly known as soap. Thank you very much. Yeah, they're um, distracting because you can see like the little, the little pit it's making. So, it's tracing well. Hi, thank you for coming in. Need to get as much of this off as possible now. And then I'm going to measure out the essential oils. Which is sage and sandalwood. Now I've made that in the melt and pour. 
Um, I try to. I've done a few now, um, but this is the very first time I'm doing it from scratch because my previous uh, ones were melt and pour base. But this is my first go mixing it from the very first stages. And Periscope is not happy. And this is my third third attempt to get this done now. The first uh, scope, you can watch on the replays, I had a bit of an issue because the light cooled down a lot quicker than expected. Because I was expecting it to take about an hour or so. And it cooled down a lot cooler than I wanted it to within half an hour. And everywhere I've been reading and, and studying and watching other soap makers, they're saying, you know, they've prepared their live solution a few hours early because it, it needed to cool down or they they did it an hour ago and it's just got to the right temperature so I was not expecting it to cool down within 20 minutes of an hour cooler temperature than the oil which normally you're waiting on the the light to cool down first and then the oils take a bit longer to cool, but it didn't in this instance. So I had to stop the scope and just do a bit of research and see what happens if your lyres cool down extremely quicker than expected. And they said it was okay because you're just cutting out the glycerin stage. Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, yeah. I've I've learnt quite a bit from some amazing women. Um, there's Zakia Ringgold, she's the very first one that I watched and she's such a great inspiration um, into making soap. She's on here, Live Soap School. And then the second lady that I found was um, Rita Pardo from Naturally Me and You. She makes soap as well. And then uh, from there, um, been watching heaven sent candles and more and that's uh, Miss Cynthia she's brilliant also um, now I need to measure out my essential oils uh, let me just see what's going on there Oh, it's okay. I thought something had landed in my in my soap then. I'll just put that to one side. I've got my soap mould ready. Let me quickly just sort this out with the oil. Point seven. I need point seven ounces. So I'll put the sage in first. She is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. And um, I've been following her just at the beginning of her icon collection. I was totally amazed. And she actually gave me the inspiration and the encouragement to just conquer my fear and try and do this uh, self making journey. Right. Just put that on tear. I'm just I'm gonna give you this Thank you for joining. Sorry I didn't get to see your name. Alright, I'll just need to put in that really hasn't got a weight to it. Point five. Uh, I need a napkin. Because this oil is getting everywhere. So that's 0.5 for the sage. Hi, you can't come in yet. Good morning. I'm making soap. Give me a kiss. You can see you in a bit, okay? Yeah, but I want to see what you're doing. I'll show you quickly. 
I don't want you anywhere near the chemicals, you see. Look, there's the soap in there. I'm just going to put the smells in. Alright. <coughs> My eldest is just woken up. Alright, so that's that. Had a bit of a spillage there. And I'm going to put in the sandalwood. I'll get my essential oils from either eBay. Hi Todd, hi, thank you for coming. Or um my health shop in town I'm from England so I, I live in Coventry which is near near Manchester near London so where about are you guys from I know I've got a few people in here where about are you situated Sorry, <laughs> I asked the question then started pouring. I missed that, I'm sorry. That's very silly of me. Oh, wicked. Where, where about in America? So I've got family in um, Ohio and New York. Thank you for the heart. Let me see if this is the right scent. I think it needs a bit more sandalwood. Oh, Virginia, cool. Hi, Candy Storm. Thanks for coming in. Please feel free to share with your friends and followers. You can share on Twitter and Facebook. I'm just going to pour a bit more of that in. Thank you for the hearts. Oh, that smells nice. Right, I think that's about right. Because this is... Um, my men's soap because I did a, a sage and sandalwood men's soap in this um, mountain pour base. So I'm going to do one from scratch. Oh, it smells absolutely lovely. I just hope um, it's still happy when I put it in my soap. <laughs> Because from what I've heard, not a lot of things are happy when certain essential oils come together with it. And also I wanted um, nice scents that would be able to hold out in the saponification process as well. So I'm hoping... At the end of the day, you can still smell the nice um, scent come through when the soap is hard. And I'm not using the blender because I don't want too much air bubbles in it. But I'm sure it's probably got enough through the second stage already. I can see a few air bubbles popping up. My ring's irritating me. Right, I remember to put my gloves back on, by the way. I took them off again. I must keep remembering gloves off, gloves on again. Put them straight back on. It smells nice. I don't know if I've put in enough. It wasn't quite coming up on the scale, but it did say 0 0.7 to 1 ounce. So I don't suppose it's going to come up much on there. 
So guys, I'm about to pour it in. Um, which way to do it? Do it that way. I'm getting a bit closer as well. Can you see okay? Thank you for those who joined in on the replay. You can copy the URL and share it on Facebook if you like. Right, here goes. Um, I'll put it that way so you can actually see. I didn't actually know how much this was going to make because I only wanted a small test batch. So we'll see how much I get in here. My first batch, I didn't want to do like a huge amount and then not have it work out, so I thought I'll just do a small amount. Oh, this is weird, didn't it? Left handed. It's so exciting, I can't wait to see what it's like tomorrow. Um, let me just see. Thank you for the hearts, guys. 93 degrees. Right, I'm sorry if this is in the way, but I need to do it properly. I can't do it left handed, it's a bit odd. So anybody else that makes soap watching tonight? <laughs> oh, thanks. I'm just hoping it hardens up okay. And it cures alright. Because it seemed as though it had a, a normal trace. Hi there, thank you for joining. Didn't quite catch the name, I'm just trying to pour this soap into the mould. And I wanted to keep it a natural uh, colour because all the ingredients are organic, so I wanted to keep it as an organic soap and not have any uh, colourants in there. I haven't found any um, dried organic colourants as yet. Because the colorants I've got are oil based, so they will just be um, my natural colors I'm trying to use. They will just be my natural soaps. My organic soaps are just going to be pure organic. Um, ingredients and essential oils only. I have fragrant oils that I use as well in my soaps but this is just going to be an all organic one. Oh that sage it smells beautiful. And I love sandalwood because I've got a sage and sandalwood um, soap that my boys wanted me to do we did that um, for Father's Day and my dad and um, their dad got that did that for hubby Let's get 
as much of this off as possible. So I did that in the melt and pour for Father's Day, so I thought I'll just do the same again um, from scratch. Oh dear, because that went down um, nicely actually. I really enjoyed their soaps. So, the ingredients, if you weren't here in the other scopes uh, earlier, is coconut butter, shea butter, coconut oil for the hard super fats, and then I added in the extra virgin olive oil, which is organic uh, variety, and organic avocado oil that was then mixed together. Let's just try and get as much bubbles out of it. I can see some popping. So with hot process you can spray the, the top of the salt with the rubbing alcohol to get rid of the air bubbles. But with cold process, you have to tap the soap out, get the air bubbles out that way, as it's a thicker substance. I think that should be okay. And. Give it some sort of. Oh yeah. I don't know. Is that? Hi. Is, is everyone watching? Yeah, I'm live. Mummy. Yeah. Hello, Mommy. everybody. <laughs> you know my uh. Your what? Lego mat. The le oh. thing. The Lego. I've got sword. this. Please Lego. don't hold that over my things. The little Lego sword. Yeah. I need some help looking for it. You can't find your Lego sword. No. Leave that, please, honey. It's the little one. Okay. Alright, thank you. You've had a look. Okay, I'm hungry. I'm, 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 I'm you know what? Oh. I know. You've come down early, that's why. You can have breakfast in a minute, okay? <laughs> thank you. What was that? She said, oh, how cute. Let me just tell you that way. <laughs> I'm in Spider-Man. This is Aaron. You eating a rice cake? Toya. Don't be silly. Out of your mouth now. Just okay. chewy. No. You okay? No, no, no. My gloves are dirty, don't. Right, so that's done. Not over the soap, thank you. You're showing them your little eye <laughs> from your toy. All right, then go back inside. Thank you, sweetie. Kids are want to be fed. Right, so now I need to put this to cure. It just seems so soft though, I thought it would be a little bit more sturdy. It is five to nine now. I feel like I've been up for three days. Can yeah. I the TV? Yes, you can put the TV on. You're welcome, baby. Oh. I, I want to watch this. Right, there we are. So, I'll just show you again what it looks like. It smells lovely. Just clean that up a bit. Ten to four. That's about the time I started 
sorting everything out, going through everything, giving a, a dry run through. Now I don't know whether to, no, I'm debating whether to put something on it to make it exfoliating or not. But at the same time, I'm thinking, no, don't mess with it, don't mess with it. Hi, Damiana, thank you for coming in. Oh, I didn't need to use these. I've got um, a sieve just in case I needed to sieve out the lye solution, but it was pretty okay. Put everything together. that I used. I need to put these to soak in white wine, not white wine, white vinegar to cancel out the, the lye solution. If I'm in the pod, well, all the uh, utensils, that can soak out of the way. And that. So that's my sage and sandalwood organic soap and I'm really excited to see how this turns out now. I'll face it back to me again. Took three attempts <laughs> but I finally got all the process down. So you can um, catch the replay. It froze on me earlier, so I didn't get to um, to carry on mixing. I was mixing at the time and hoping to carry on. And then I was chatting away and looked up as I was there, stirring and stirring, and looked up and the screen had frozen. I don't know how long it had frozen for. I don't know how much of it you'd, you'd miss me saying. But um, thank you for tuning in. Thanks for catching the replays and for giving your hearts. And... I need to go and put this somewhere safe to cure now. Thank you for taking time to come in. Bye.